All of these five things together are what you are going to be thinking about when you're looking at a scene in front of you. So let's start off with shapes. This is a rectangle. All of your shapes are going to be some form of a, of a square, a circle, a triangle, and a polygon of some shape. And whatever other shape you decide is a shape, you might see that there's a, there's a shape right here that is a big square. When you're drawing these shapes, they're going to be very light on your paper. And the other thing is negative space. The space, this triangle between these two fingers, and you're going to look at that and, and relate it to these two things here. What kindergartners tend to do, is if they were drawing a hand, they would draw all of the fingers sticking straight up. What we want to do is to make sure that the fingers are pointing off in the right direction. It's, it's hard to determine what things are doing out there in nature. What is the angle of that? Of, the, of the, the slope of the ceiling in your room. It helps to use the, the shape of your paper or your drawing surface. See, I'm drawing this, this rectangle here really roughly to use this to understand what the angles are looking at. So when you take a, a, a right angle of, of something or just a vertical you, and you see a line coming off it like this tree, you can see that this is a sharp angle in relation to this vertical, whereas this fence, for instance, is coming off almost straight. The angle of this hand here you can see is going off in that direction. If you were to draw the hand going straight up, it wouldn't look right. All of these angles I relate to each other, but also to the frame of, what, of my drawing surface. You also want to be paying a lot of attention to proportion. If you're drawing a person, like if a kindergarten kid is drawing a person, what they all often do is they'll draw like a big head and then a little bitty body with little feet and little arms with really long fingers. A person is, I think it's seven and a half heads tall. And what proportion means is the, how one element relates to another element or to other elements in the drawings. And the way you do that is by measuring different things using your pencil. Let's talk about relationships, and I'm not talking about dating somebody. Relationships means the relationship of one thing to another. This finger right here is lower than this middle finger. This finger is that much lower. This finger is, if we're doing this across, is this much lower than that finger. And I'll notice that the thumb, gee, the thumb runs right about where all of these fingers slam in. The width of this fence here versus the width of this hand here, you know, to this point on the hand. Gee, it looks like it's about the same. Another shape here, the light, see there's a shadow going across there. You're going to have to draw that in. There's, there are these shapes in here. So I'll certainly block in the areas of, of dark, dark. That's a, that's a shadow being cast from here about on, over to here from the thumb, the light hitting it. Uh, this is a shadow from that finger there, understanding that. And you'll see that all of the fingers have light too. So there's sort of a lightning zigzag pattern there. So that's it. Those are the five things.